What does that mean? Yeah, I had this voucher. What for? It's free popcorn. I'm sure I brought it. I don't know, mate. We'll buy some. But you're getting movie tickets. Oh, I think the budget can stretch a little bit further. Save it for next time. Might be my foster mum, buddy. Tess. Yeah, I see. Yep, ambulance. Old St David's Road. There's a serious car accident. About 11 k's out of Mount Thomas. Two people. Three. I'm Tess Gallagher from Mount Thomas Police. You all right? Sarah, she's not over there. Yep. Okay. Let's get you out of here, eh? Take it easy, take it easy. Sarah? Can you hear me? David? Sarah? No, I'm, my name's Tess. Where's David? No, he's Where's he fine. Going? Are you able to move? I... I don't know. All right, I'll just come around the other side. <laughs> I can't feel my legs. Sarah? Right. Just call an ambulance, they're on their way. We'll get you out as soon as they're here. Sarah? Are you David? Yep. Sarah's conscious, but she's her legs are trapped. She may have spinal injuries. Spinal injuries? Yes. So the best thing for her is to leave her there. Just for a little while until we can get some help. Right? So. David! Okay, no, it's Tess. I can smell no. gas. This thing runs on LPG. Yes. Okay. Now I'm gonna try to oh my God. help myself. No, that's all right. Stay calm. Now can you put your arms on my neck? Okay. That's it. On the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> I can't do it. Not a mind. No, I'm just gonna have to wait for help. I don't want to die. You're not gonna die. What's Maybe going on? Right, just hold on. Please stay back from the car, David. Sarah. There's a gas leak. Just, okay, Let's get on. her out yeah, of We're there. gonna get her out. Get her out. Yes, just come on. Bloody hell. Hey, get back to the car, Hayley, now! That's, that's, come on, Sarah! Sarah. We're gonna Ambos get her out. Ambos are on their way. Sarah, okay. five minutes. Can you take care of David, please? Come on, mate. Keep him well back, and Hayley. Don't, come, come on. We'll do everything we can. The woman's legs are trapped, and there's a gas leak. We've got to get mate, her out. Come on, mate, she'll be all right. Get her out. Yeah, we'll do everything we're gonna get you out of here. Oh, what's that? Get a fire extinguisher, run! Oh my god, I'm gonna die! No, 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 no. I'm gonna die! Please don't touch me. Oh my god! Come on, go! I've got to go. I've got to go. I've got to go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Get back! Get back! Hey, She's gonna die! Don't please just get back! That's an order! Yeah, she's she's fine, Mrs. Cartwright. On it, yeah. I just thought you should know. I'll I'll have her home soon. Yeah, as soon as possible then. Okay. Yeah, bye for now. They're angry with you. No, they're just concerned. Just fair enough. They are the ones looking after you. Only until I'm moving with you. Yeah. Yeah. Thinking about that lady. Yeah, amongst other things. I don't think she felt any pain. I mean, it was really quick when she died. You wouldn't feel that. Yeah, hope not. I'm just sorry that you were there. Okay. And I still owe you a movie. And some popcorn. I don't care about that. Not now. Then 
I don't want, why don't we have a slumber party? Hey, we could, we could get a video and cook up some food. How about tomorrow night? Only if you want to. Yeah, of course I do. Mm, ask otherwise. Okay then. So, what should we cook? Spaghetti, that nice meat sauce you make. Sounds good to me. You received that. What's the latest? A uh, major collision unit's still out there. Mm -hmm. We should get a report on the condition of the car by tomorrow. What about David Birch? Is he all right? Well, the hospital wants to keep him in overnight for observation. Yeah. He's pretty shaken. I can imagine. So what about you? You okay? Hey. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I just need someone to drop Hayley over at the Cartwright's house. But I thought you... Yeah, no, I would do it myself, but I've got to get started on these accident reports. Um, I'll do that if you want. Yeah, no, I'll do them, Joe. But you weren't even on duty. Joe, I said I'd do them, all right? Just offering. See you tomorrow then, eh? Okay. Let's get you home. Thanks, Adam. Yeah, nice. Right. How's your statement going? You all right? Look, I'm sorry I just snapped at you. It's been a pretty rough night. Yeah. How are you, anyway? Not the best. I just keep seeing that woman's face and all the thoughts that must have been racing through her mind. We did everything we could, Joe. Yeah, I guess you did. So what caused the accident in the first place? Weather was fine, road conditions were good, there was no other car involved. I mean, mechanical failure is one possibility, but it's too soon to tell. Had Sarah been drinking? Well, the Sarge seemed to think that she was sober, which is more than I can say for her. David, I mean, the bloke was all over the shop. Has he been spoken to yet? Not yet. Just waiting for Joe. So I was waiting for you. Well, it's about time you both got going. Good morning, Tess. Yeah. Tess. You all right? Yeah, you all right, thanks. We're just going down to the hospital to speak to David Birch. Right. Everything OK? Yeah, I'd... good luck a word, though. Sure. Remember me saying how I needed some time off this morning? Oh, this is the foster care thing, right? They're coming to inspect the house. Is that it? There's also a panel interview. <clears throat> well, you can understand why they'd want to be pretty thorough. Mm. Mm. No last-minute doubts? No. What about Hayley? Just as keen as I am. Oh, take all the time you need. Thanks, boss. In fact, why don't you take the whole day? I mean, after last night's ordeal, you'd be perfectly entitled. It's over now, and I just want to get on with things. Well, feel free to change your mind. Boss, it hurt to slow Sarah down Birch bit. is dead. And sitting around at home thinking about what happened isn't going to change that. We'd like to have a chat with your dad, if that's OK. We're really sorry about your mother. Yeah, they said you tried to save her. Yeah, we did everything we could. Mr. Birch, we need to ask you a few questions. It's for the coroner's report. In a situation like this, it's standard procedure. Can you remember the accident? Not everything. It, it's all mixed up. But you were driving away from St. David's, is that right? We were coming home from a barbecue. I'd had a few beers. I felt tired. So, what happened? I don't really know. I must have fallen asleep. And, um... Next thing I know, that, that car's going off the road heading for some trees. I must have passed out again. And that woman came to the door and helped me get out. Sergeant Gallagher. She was police. She was out of uniform. Look, I'm sorry to bother you, but I need to know what happened. Dad doesn't have a clue, and I just need to know. Look, mate, we don't... We're not sure. So it wasn't Mum's fault? Mate, we really don't know. Because it wouldn't have been Mum. She's such a safe driver. She wouldn't do anything wrong. <sighs> Should have gone with him. To the barbecue? No, it was my auntie's birthday. Why didn't you go? Well... Mum and Dad were arguing I couldn't be bothered with them. You know. Mum was being such a pain, I just started yelling at her. 
should have gone with him. Everything done? Yeah. Thank goodness. I hate writing those reports. It's like living it all over again. Yeah. At least I didn't have to deal with the body. No. Never looks good after a fire. Stench is the worst thing. It sticks in your nostrils for a minute. May I help you? Jess Gallagher? That's right. Wendy Smale, I'm from foster care. Oh, hello. Yeah, I wasn't expecting you till later. There's been a bit of a complication. Is there somewhere we can talk? Yeah. I'm afraid Hayley's mother's having second thoughts. Why? Well, she phoned this morning. Apparently she heard Hayley was present at that accident last night. And she's rather concerned. Concerned? In what way? She's not sure that she wants you to foster Hayley anymore. But Hayley wants to live with me. She knows that. I'm sorry, but if Tina Fulton withdraws her permission, we have to abide by that. What were you trying to do? Get her killed? You've done enough to our family. You've hurt us enough. I won't let you hurt Hayley as well. Hayley was never in any danger. That's not what I heard. She was my first concern. She was there when this car exploded. That's what I was told. I didn't want her to be there. Right? She's you a little girl. Her. She shouldn't have seen it. I understand how you must feel, but I couldn't avoid the situation. This had never happened with the Cartwrights. She's not happy there. At least she'd be safe. She'll be safe with me, I promise. <sighs> no, I don't believe it. Trust me, Tina, I can look after Hayley for you better than anyone else. You just think that because you're a cop. I'm her mother. I know what's best. I know that. While you're in here, it's she off. Wants to... She's not going to live with you no bloody way. Sir, how can I help? Looking for the woman that was at the accident last night. Mr. Birch, you looking for me? No, the other one. Her? Sergeant Gallagher? Yes. Just a minute. Are you sure you're well enough to be here? I'm perfectly all right. Mr. Birch. How could you? Sorry? How could you let her die like that? I'm sorry. There was nothing we could do. There was time! No. There was! Anyone could see that. Anyone except you. There were lives at stake. A decision had to be made. Oh, yeah. You made a decision to save your own skin. That might be your opinion. I thought the police were supposed to help people. If you have a complaint about me, Mr Birch, you can contact the Ethical Standards Department. It's a number. I'll be ringing, all right. You killed my wife. Let me say firstly how deeply sorry I am about Sarah. I do understand. I lost my own wife in a car accident. Bet you didn't have to stand there and watch while she burned. No. Well, I wanted to have this talk with you before you went ahead. Here it comes. No, no, no. You're perfectly entitled to lodge a formal complaint. And if you do, it will be thoroughly investigated. You have my guarantee. Who investigates it? You? No, not me, no. No, I can take your complaint and pass it on to someone at ethical standards and they'll do it. Good. Because I want this done properly. And it will be, if that's what you decide. But sometimes these things can arise out of a simple misunderstanding that can be very easily cleared up. There was time to save her. I was there. I was begging. As I understand it, Sergeant Gallagher actually saved your life. I was all right. It was Sarah who needed help. But didn't Sergeant Gallagher go back for Sarah? She didn't go back. The one time she could have saved her. There was a good reason. She wouldn't that. even let me try. Can you understand what that was like? I do understand your feeling this way. But perhaps you should think it over for a day or two. All right, let's let the elves do the rest. Can we watch the movie now? Open the chocolate? Yeah, in a minute. Uh, there's something we need to talk about. What?
about your mum? Is she all right? Yeah, she's fine. She's changed her mind about you coming to live with me. Well, she heard you at the accident last night. She thought you were in danger. But I wasn't. You were still there. It was horrible. I suppose, I, I don't know, I, she feels like she can't trust me. That's not fair. You mustn't blame her. Why not? She blames you for everything, and it's her fault she's in prison, not yours. She doesn't want me ever to be happy. That's not true. I bet the Cartwrights sort of what happened. Look, we don't know that. Anyway, it doesn't matter. She's made up her mind, and we're just going to have to accept it. Hayley! Come on, sleepyhead. Hayley? Hayley? I was coming here. The first thing I knew was uh, I found a note this morning. <laughs> you expect me to believe that? It's the truth. She don't want to know. I just want what's best for you, Hayley. Then why are you in jail? Don't. You've got it all wrong, Mum. Tess wouldn't ever let anything happen to me. <laughs> what were you doing there in the first place and in a police car? Did Mrs Cartwright tell you we were in a police car? Well, she's a liar. We weren't. We were in Tessa's car going to the movies. I love you, Mum. But after you, I love Tess the best. She'll look after you better than the Cartwrights. I already told them that you would... Then untell them. Please, for my sake. Yeah, we're right. As soon as I get out of here, you're coming home with me. She's my little girl, okay? Don't disappear on me like that again. But I fixed it, didn't I? Uh, yes. I still have to see if the foster people think I'm okay. They will. They have to. It is such a nice day out there. What's going on? You're needed. David Birch lodged his complaint. Well, better go on with it then. So, when Sergeant Gallagher was making this decision, you were back near the road restraining David Birch. That's right. And you'd been instructed to restrain him by Sergeant Gallagher. He was out of control. He was a danger to himself and to everyone else. Do you believe there was time to remove Sarah Birch from the car before it exploded? No. No way. Can you be sure? I mean, you were some distance away, busy with Mr. Birch. I'm positive. So, who would you say was in charge of the situation? Sergeant Gallagher. Even though she was off duty? She was first on the scene. She knew what was happening. It made sense to listen to her, and I, for one, believe she did the right thing. We were at the car. A spark started coming from the engine. Sergeant Gallagher told me to run and get the fire extinguisher from the patrol car. What happened then? I did what I was told. But you didn't go back to the car? Sergeant Gallagher ordered me not to. Why did she do that? She said it was too dangerous. She thought the car was about to explode. In your opinion, was there time to get Sarah Birch out of the car before it exploded? I'm waiting for an answer, Constable. I thought there might have been if I, if I could have got the fire out. So why didn't you act? Sergeant Gallagher held me back. But weren't you in charge? Sergeant Gallagher wasn't in uniform. She wasn't even on duty. You were actually the senior member present. Well, if you thought there was time to save Sarah Birch, why didn't you act on your own authority? Tess is my sergeant. I, I just didn't 
didn't think of it like that. Then perhaps Mr. Birch's complaint's been misdirected. Thank you, Constable. As you're aware, I've discussed the matter with the attending members, but I remain uncertain about whether or not you acted appropriately. So before we go any further, do you believe Sarah Birch could have been removed from the crashed vehicle before it exploded? No. Her legs were pinned beneath the steering wheel. Could the fire have been extinguished before it exploded? No, not in my judgment. You're quite clear about that? Yes. Because Constable Parrish held a different opinion, didn't she? Yes. But you overrode her. In fact, you physically restrained her. There's no doubt in my mind that if Constable Parrish had returned to that vehicle, she would have been seriously injured or possibly even killed. No doubt about that at all? No. So how much time do you think elapsed? Sorry? Between your decision and the vehicle exploding, how much time elapsed? Uh, I can't really say. Ten seconds? Thirty seconds? A minute? P probably less than thirty seconds, but I... I, I don't recall. Now, I understand there was a little girl at the accident, a friend of yours. Yes. She saw the whole thing. Yes. So she's a witness. I'd rather keep her out of this. Is there a problem? I've applied to foster her. We're going through the process right now. What's her name? Hayley. Hayley Fulton. I understand your desire to protect Hayley, Sergeant. But under the circumstances, I think it's vital that I speak with her. How'd you go? I think you know the answer to that. I'm sorry, but I had to say what yeah, I saw. Of course you did. Look, if it's any consolation, I got my ass kicked as well. What for? Because I was actually the most senior member on duty. But I let you take charge. Just as well someone did. What's going on, Tess? I don't understand. Well, there's a lady who needs to ask you some questions. Yeah, I know. Jump up. You remember the man who was in the accident the other night? The one who was in the car? Well, he's very angry about his wife dying and he just wants to know what happened. Are you in trouble? No. No, of course not. So what do I say? Just tell them the truth. Okay. Hey, okay. Do you want to come to my office? This won't take very long. I can't really tell you that much. I mean, I was there, but Tess made sure I kept right out of the way. Well, that's good, Hayley. But you must remember when the car exploded. And, and just before that, um, do you remember when um, Tess was telling people to keep away? She didn't want anyone getting hurt. Oh, I understand that. But do you think there was time to save that woman before it exploded? No. You sure of that? Yeah, because if anything could have been done, Tess would have done it. She's really good at her job. You think a lot of Sergeant Gallagher, don't you? She's going to be my foster parent. So I hear. Bit like having a second mum. Not really. Tess is more like a friend. Best friend? Pretty much. So I guess you'd do anything for her. Yep. But I wouldn't lie for her. Hayley supported your account of events, but she's not a credible witness. Hayley wouldn't lie. That's what she said. So after all this, nothing has been resolved? I just did what I thought was right. I tried to help. That woman, Sarah, she was so afraid. You know, she wanted me to stay. She wanted me to save her. And I, I, maybe I was wrong. Maybe I, I could have saved her. I, I don't know anymore. Look, you can't change what's happened. 
There's no point torturing yourself wishing things were different. Hey. For what it's worth, I trust your judgment. I was one of the mechanics from Major Collision Unit. There was nothing wrong with the Birch's vehicle at all. It was regularly serviced, last done a couple of weeks ago. So what caused the accident? Well, it has to be human error. It's possible. Remember when we talked to the son at the hospital, that stuff he said about his parents arguing? Yeah, but that was before the barbecue. But what if they didn't stop fighting? Maybe, maybe the argument caused her to run off the road. It's another possibility. Make some subtle inquiries. We understand that before you went to the barbecue, you were fighting with your wife? What's that got to do with anything? We were wondering whether that may have contributed to her mood. So it might explain why she ran off the road. Don't be ridiculous. Mr. Birch, don't take this the wrong way. We're not prying, we're just trying to understand what happened. My wife is dead, Constable. I know. She's dead because your sergeant allowed her to die. How defensive was he? Well, whatever they fought about, he obviously feels guilty. So guilty he wants to heap all the blame on Tess. We should find out what they're arguing about. How? He's not going to talk again, and after that encounter, I doubt the son will. Well, if we can find out what was making him feel guilty and we confront him about it, maybe we'll drop the charge against Tess. It's a noble thought. Yeah, well, she's not the only one who's in trouble. I told Monica Draper I believe there was time to put that fire out. You what? It's what I believe, Jonesy. It's what I still believe. Monica says I should have backed my own judgment. I was the most senior member present. So you actually don't care about Tess at all? You're just interested in saving your own ass? No, that's not true. Look, I'm willing to cop whatever comes my way over this. But if it stuffed up Tess and Haley, I'd never forgive myself. It's not huge, but it's big enough for two. Well, it's certainly very clean. Yes, I'm a bit obsessive in that respect. Nothing wrong with that. So, um, everything's okay? I don't see any real problems, except for your proximity to the police station. Well, there's not much I can do about that. Do you keep a gun here? All firearms are secure at all times, either because they're in the possession of a member or they're safely locked away. It's one of my responsibilities, as a matter of fact. So there's no way that Haley or a friend could get hold of one? No. What about criminals? Sorry? People you bring into custody. Is there any chance of them getting out, causing harm? That's highly unlikely. Look, I'm sorry if these questions sound silly, but Haley's safety is our primary concern. Of course. <laughs> so would you mind me taking a look around the station, meeting the people you work with? It might put my mind at ease. Well, I brought up two daughters in there, uh, until we moved to the other place, of course, uh, no problem at all. In fact, they didn't want to move. It's just one big happy family here, isn't that right, PJ? It sure is, Pop. Uh, and Teresa will make a wonderful foster parent. You couldn't do better. It's good to know your opinion, Senior Sergeant. But you must understand I'm not the only person making the decision. Yes, of course. The other two people who'll be on the panel are Bev Quilter, she's the director. Yeah. And Lionel Bass, he's a psychologist. What sort of questions will they be asking? They'll probably just pick up on some of the points you mentioned in your life essay. Yes. It's not you we're so much concerned with, it's Hayley. And honestly, you must be so used to doing interviews. Hey, Jane. Uh, Nathan, what can I do for you? Um, I'm not quite sure. I don't even know what I'm doing. Well, there must be some reason. Well, I guess I kind of overheard you talking to Dad about him and Mum arguing how it might have caused the accident. Is there something you want to tell us? Just come through. She's had a lot, she's had a lot of worries and been really down. What about? Everything. Mainly me, I'm, I was nothing but a disappointment for her. I'm sure that's not true. No, you don't understand. She sent me to Hume College and everything. Hey, mate, that's a flash school. No, I hated it. I wanted to leave, but, you know, Dad didn't mind. He said we could um, save some money, but Mum cracked it. She wanted more for me. 
What were you were fighting about before they went to the barbecue? Yeah, she, uh, she said she didn't want me ending up like Dad, you know, running a, a dead-end business in a dead-end town. And, um, you know, she said her life was a waste and, um, she said she may as well be... She said she may as well be dead. Suicide? Yeah. And he blames himself. It's ridiculous. Yeah, well, we tried to tell him that, but he wouldn't listen. But suicide? But was this teenage dramatics or a real possibility? Well, we're not sure. We thought we might track down the other relatives, see what they have to say. There's no point in talking to David Birch. Well, not at the moment. David, you think that family had enough troubles, wouldn't you? Like what? Well, that business of theirs been going down the gurgler for months. He was in here one day for a very long lunch, told me all about it. Well, that's worth checking out. Looks like I'm just in time for the next shower. I'll grab it. <laughs> so where's the sergeant? To your home. She wanted to have a quiet night. Rest up for this interview tomorrow. That'd be mad to turn it down. A very impressive CV, I must say. Thank you. Although being a member of the police force, that must be quite stressful at times. It has its moments. And fostering can also be a strain, especially for a single person. I'm sure I can cope. I don't think I'd be here if I thought otherwise. Of course. Now, it says here that you were three years old when your parents separated. That's right. And you haven't seen your father since? No. What about your mother, Tess? Do you still keep in touch with her? I know where she lives, but we seldom speak. Oh, I see. Now, you've written that your mother had a, uh, quote, string of boyfriends, all of whom had abusive natures. That's right. And under these circumstances, your mother did nothing to protect you or your siblings? No, she didn't. But I'm nothing like her, if that's what you're driving at. Well, I'm not suggesting that at all. But perhaps the only reason you want to foster Haley is to right past wrongs. All right, maybe Tina does remind me of my mother and maybe that's exactly why I want to care for Haley because she needs love and I need to give it. Is that such a bad thing? I spoke to Sarah Birch's relatives. They said she was seeing a psychiatrist for some time. Clinical depression. Was she on medication? Spoke to the shrink. She refused to take it. And the relatives also said that David and Sarah were fighting at the barbecue and they were still at it when they got in the car. Maybe she did just drive off the road. Leaving him wrapped with guilt. And pointing the finger at Tess. I know this all sounds very convincing, but I just don't believe Sarah wanted to kill herself. Why not? I was there just before she died. I mean, she was so desperate to live. Maybe she had time to think about it and change her mind. Well, maybe. Go and talk to David Birch again. I want to get to the bottom of this. How dare you come into my house and suggest such a Mr. thing? Mr Birch, she was suffering from depression and you'd been fighting at the barbecue. Now, isn't it possible that she deliberately drove off the road? No, it wasn't like that. How do you know her? I thought you were asleep. I was. I just don't think she'd do something like that. Mr. Birch, if you know what caused your wife's accident, you must... This is all about taking the heat off your mate, isn't it? People want answers. The coroner, for one. And your son, too. Leave Nathan out of this. We're giving you the opportunity to tell us what happened. Either you tell us now, or you can answer under oath to the coroner. I've got nothing to say. Nothing at all. 
He knows what happened, I'm sure of it. So why all the lies? What's he trying to prove? Well, we think he may have caused the accident himself. Well, he was drunk, they were fighting, she got distracted. They went off the road, well, it does make sense. I should call Monica Draper. Well, if this is true, it means the charges against Sergeant Gallagher are totally misdirected. Well, it's just a theory. I mean, we don't have solid evidence. No. Oh, well, I'm willing to give it a bill. We keep all this stuff. Chuck it out. Yeah, then we'll probably need it. Did you want something? Yeah, Inspector Monica Draper's here to see you. Great. Well, she may have something positive to say. Oh, wouldn't that be a nice change? Take a seat. I've considered the matter at length, Sergeant, and I've decided to recommend to the department that no further action be taken against you. Constable Parrish is entitled to her opinion, but it doesn't alter the fact that what was required was judgment and decisiveness. I think you made the right decision. Thank you, Inspector. There's no need for thanks. The decision was made for me. In the process of investigating the accident, Constables Parrish and Jones uncovered some new information. It tends to undermine Mr. Birch's credibility. I see. I hope this hasn't ruined any chance of fostering that little girl. No, I think I stuffed that up all by myself. So, you still got all your toes? Of course she has. They were all behind you. Well, I gather it was you guys who actually made the difference. Well, just doing our job. Come on, you were the one who pushed it. Well, purely selfish motive. Oh, she's full of it. <laughs> Tess, she here for you? Yeah, thanks. Just tell me, the final decision still hasn't been made. I really had to push a case hard after you left. But I think we're getting there. What, you think there's still a chance? You're not the first person to be upset by Lionel. D do I have to go back there? Or no, what? no. Uh, but they have asked me for your reassurance on one point. What? There's still some concern about the proximity of your home to the police station. I mean, can you guarantee that Hayley will be safe here? I wouldn't suggest that she come here unless I was certain of that. All right, then. I'll take your thoughts back to the others and we'll let you know. Where's the Sarge? She should be here by now. Ah, uh, maybe she's still talking with the foster care people. I hope it's good news. No, oh, she'll be here soon. She better. I want to buy her a drink. Chrissy, what do you like at whipping up martinis? Vodka or gin? Both for our sergeant, eh? <laughs> our sergeant won't be coming tonight. Why not? Home duties. <sighs> Come on, slow coach. Where should I put these? Yeah, just dump your stuff there. Sort out your room later. Make it feel like home. <sighs> you hungry? I'm starving. Let's grab some pizza. Huh? Um, grab the menu. It's just in that drawer on the right hand side. Pick what you fancy. Come here. Get out of here. It's all because of you. Hey, go to the bedroom. Go. Oh, you stirred the pot. This isn't helping your cause, Mr. Bird. Because of you, they blamed me. Don't! Hayley! Don't you ever! Are you all right? No, no, run and get Tom. He's at the Imperial. What about him? I think he's all right. You have no right to be here. Don't you see? I killed her. I killed Sarah. You've been charged with being unlawfully on premises, assault police, and unlawful assault. Do you understand that? Yes. All right, this is your copy of the charge and bail form. Court date is there. But what about the other thing? Well, I 
don't think any further action will be taken on that matter. But we were fighting in the car. I made her lose control. It, it's my fault that she's dead. Tell that to your son. He's under the impression that he's to blame. Constable, you take Mr Birch home. Yeah. Oh, this way. You right? Sort of. I don't know. I guess I'm having second thoughts. What about Birch? No, about Haley. You know, I told those foster people that she'd be safe, and look what happened. And she was safe. You protected her. It's too hard. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this. After all you've been through. I just want to do the right thing. Thanks for that. I really appreciate it. Anytime. See you, Jonesy. See you, house. Did you sort out that man? Yeah, we sorted him out. I'm just sorry it had to happen, though. I've seen worse. I know. I want something better for you. You know, I want you to be happy and safe. But I am. Are you sure? Of course I am. I'm with you, aren't I? We're going to set up my room or what? I'm sure I brought it. Hell no, mate. We'll buy some. But you're getting movie tickets. Oh, I think the budget can stretch a little bit further. Save it for next time. Might be my foster mum, buddy. Tess. Yeah, I see. Ambulance, Old St David's Road. There's a serious car accident. About 11 k's out of Mount Thomas. Two people, three. I'm Tess Gallagher from Mount Thomas Police. You all right? Sarah, she's not moving. Yep. Okay. Let's get you out of here, eh? Take it easy, take it easy. Sarah? Can you hear me? David? Sarah? No, I'm, my name's Tess. Where's David? No, he's Where's he fine. Going? Are you able to move? I... I don't know. All right, I'll just come around the other side. I can't feel my legs. Right. Just call an ambulance, they're on their way. We'll get you out as soon as they're here. Sarah? Are you David? Yep. Sarah's conscious, but she's, her leg's trapped. She may have spinal injuries. Spinal injuries? Yes. So the best thing for her is to leave her there, just for a little while, until we can get some help. Right, so. David? Okay, no, it's Tess. I can smell no. gas. This thing runs on LPG. Yes. Okay. No, I'm gonna try to oh help myself. No, that's all right. Stay calm. Now, can you put your arms on my neck? Okay. That's it. On the count of three. One, two, three. No, I can't do it. Not a moment. No, we're just gonna have to wait for help. I don't wanna die. You're not gonna die. What's Maybe going on? Right, just hold on. Please stay back from the car, David. Sarah. There's a gas leak. Just, okay, just to get her out yeah, of we're gonna get her out. Get her out. Yes, just, come on. Bloody hell. Hey, get back to the car, Hayley, now! That's, come on, Sarah! Sarah. We're gonna Ambos get her out. are on their way. Sarah, okay. five minutes. Can you take care of David, please? Come on, mate. Keep him well back, and Hayley. Joe, come on. 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 Come on.
do everything we can. Woman's legs are trapped and there's a gas leak. We've got to get her out. Get her out. We're going to get you out of here. What's that? Get a fire extinguisher. Run. Oh, my God. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Get back! Get back! Oh, I'm not! Don't! It's no danger! Don't! 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 Don't!